Um, so uh, what we need now is to make the actual scope. As I said, my my stage sizes 550 by 400 pixels. So the logic thing to do is the logical, excuse me, is to make um. Just a second. Is to make a big rectangle. Let me go ahead and lock everything else but the scope layer so we can don't mess up anything. And the logical thing to do would be to set this as my frames settings. Align it. Okay. And I'll show you how we'll turn this into scope later, but let me see this first. If we make our scope just as big as our stage, uh, there's going to be a bug. Um, because when you play a sniper game, you can try it yourself on other online sniper games, and you right-click on a corner thing, yeah, uh, then it takes this whole thing, which... Uh, is supposed to be in the screen. It's supposed to be. It's supposed to take the whole screen, and it pushes this like so. And part of the screen remains uncovered, and it's really buggy. And I don't know. It's really wrong. So I would suggest uh, turning this up as much as you can, or you know, you know what I mean. A quite bigger size so you are absolutely safe and free of bugs okay so we need to align this and let me convert this into symbol this is gonna be a movie clip and let's name it scope that's it now let's go into it and let's make the actual scope uh, so, what we need to do here is uh, to make a circle. Let's make it blue at first, or uh, red, so we can tell it apart. We can tell it from, yeah. Um, how you draw a circle from the inside outwards is you hold down ALT, See, I'm not holding Alt right now, and now I do. And you also want to hold down Shift to keep it uh, in a round shape, because if you don't, this w this is what happens. So, uh, Alt and Shift. And drag it about, um, I think, this much might be good. So, let's go on frame. Yeah. Actually, let me make this a little bit smaller. So I think around that size is good. And now you select this part. You know, the, the circle we just drew has now split the big rectangle into two parts. This part and this part. So we don't need this part, so delete it. And as you can see, we can see outside our rectangle, behind actually. Um, what we need to do now is to draw the rulers of the scope. Oh, just give me a moment. You need to make this straight. Now you delete those parts. You make this one straight. Whoa, there. That is wrong. Just give me a second. 
We'll work it out the hard way, it doesn't matter. I could uh, just do the whole thing separately and then adjust it with a line, but nah, <laughs> I'll do it that way. So, we are done, and now uh, our scope looks kind of lame, so you might want to uh, make this like uh, gray. I don't know, no, <laughs> that's bad color. So, let's make this green for now so we can see it. We won't leave it green. Um, and also let's make it like thicker, like five. Yeah, that's more visible. So let's take this and add a nice little uh, thing. Um, so let's invert this. And now let's Take our gradient transform tool, zoom out a little bit, and whoa, <laughs> we can't see that. Okay, um, just give me a second right here till I find the controls. There they are. So, shrink this down, bring it back to the center, and shrink it. Yep. And now let's see. You can see that we have this nice kind of depth effect. And yep, that's what I want it to be. So uh, let's make this black. Or you can make it whatever color you want, but I'm sure black will stick out of the buildings and or in second thoughts, let's make this even darker red. Uh, yep. So, I think that's good for now. You know, it's not perfect, but it's something. So, go back to the main scene. And... Don't forget to save. So, what we need to do now is to select our scope uh, movie clip and give it an instance name of scope. Okay, and now we write this code onto the frame. So, what this is going to do is, it's going to allow us to um, use the scope as our cursor. And you'll see why we'd, we would want that. So, let's try it out. Whoa, we got an error. Let me see what that is. Oh, yes. <laughs> I totally messed up. So you need to write a button code. I have years to code in place. <laughs> Release. So. No, I want that in there. Yep, that's, that's it, we're good. So, uh, that basically says that whenever we click and release the, um, the button, this button, it will start playing the game. So let's see how this goes. You see, this is a button now. I click it, then I have control of my scope, of my cursor. And now, as you can see, we have we have no bug here. No matter how far you go, you can never. Uh, 
get out of the big rectangle so there's no bug and that's working fine so oh, wrong let me just close this the um, the annoying thing is that our mask goes away so well we don't want our mask there but um, it's kind of hard clicking the X afterwards but who cares